Hey folks, uh, this is Mr. Math Blog. Uh, this lesson is adding rational numbers. So here's our common course strand for our most grooviest teachers. And then our essential question is, how can we add rational numbers? Okay, remember rational numbers are fractions or form of or decimal, terminating decimal or repeating decimal. Okay, so adding rational numbers that have the same sign. So to add rational numbers that have the same sign, apply the rules for adding integers. The sum has the uh, the sum has the same sign as the sign of the rational number. So if they have the same sign, add them together and then take the sign that they share. So Malachi hikes for 2.5 miles and stops for lunch. Then he hikes for 1.5 more miles. How many miles did Ma uh, did Malachi hike altogether? Okay, so. We're going to use positive numbers to represent the distance that he hiked right there. And we're looking for 2.5 plus 1.5. So start at 2.5. Okay, so 2.5. Let's look at our number line. So these are going by 1s. So here's 1, here's 2. So right there is 2.5. I'll put a dot right up there. Okay, so put a dot right there. Okay, and then, um, then we're going to go ahead and add the distance. Move 1.5 units to the right because he's going to add that to his hiking. So we're going to add 1.5. So here's 0.5 and then add one more. It's going to take us right there. So, so that's going to take us to 4. So Malachi hiked 4 miles that day. Good for him. All right, so Kyle pours out 3 fourths of liquid from a beaker. Then he pours out another one half liter of liquid. What's the overall change in the amount of liquid in the beaker? Well, since we're pouring it out, we're going to use negative numbers to represent the change because he's pouring it out. So we're finding what's negative three fourths plus negative one half. So we start at negative three fourths. So let's look at our number line right here. Okay, so here's zero, here's negative one, and it's cut up into four equal sections. So it looks like this is negative one fourth, negative two fourths, negative three fourths, negative four fourths, which is negative one. Okay, Neg and then here's negative one half, which was negative two fourths right there. So one half is going to be two squares. Okay, so let's start right here. I'll put a dot right there. Okay, and then uh, we're going to add uh, one half unit, and we're going to go to the left. That should say to the left, not to the left. To the left. I thought I cleared everything on this last lesson. I cleared everything because the second add end is negative. Okay, so um, when we do that, we're going to go to the left one half, and so to the left one half is two of the tick marks. So I'm going to go here, here, and stop right there. Okay, so um, uh, so that's going to take us to negative one and one fourth right there. Okay, so uh, the result is negative one and one fourth. And then so that's the amount of liters that the beaker has decreased by is, uh, one and one fourth liters. Okay, always try to answer, especially these word problems, answer the question uh, in the context of whatever the problem was asking for. So, so I know it's negative one and one fourth, but negative one and one fourth what? Is that pounds, inches? Is that miles? Is that gas? So it's in here. It's liters. Okay. All right. Uh, how many? Uh, explain how to determine whether to move right or left on a number line when adding rational numbers. Okay. Well, we move to the right if the numbers you're adding is positive, and we move to the left if the numbers you're adding is negative. And duh. Okay. All right. So here, let's use the number line uh, to add these rational numbers. So I'm going to start on this guy at three. So let's go ahead and start at three. I'll put a dot right there. And then I'm going to go one and a half to the right. So here's one and a half right there. Okay. So there it is right there. Did I go one and a half? Oops. I'm sorry. I did not. Let me back up. Let me back up. I was counting my tick marks incorrectly. Okay. Here's one right here from three to four is one. So each one of these is a half, so sorry about that. So here's one and a half right there, so that's going to take us up to four and a half right there, okay? All right, let's check out this guy right here, make sure we're doing it right. Yeah, these are going by a half also, because here's negative one, and you cut it in half right there. Okay, so negative 2.5, so here's negative 2.5. We're going to put a dot right there, and then we're going to add negative 4.5. Here's my dot right there. Okay, so I'm going to add negative 4.5. Okay, so here we go. Here's one, two, three, four point five. It's going to go right there, four point five. Okay, takes us to negative seven. All right, so adding rational numbers that have different signs. To add rational numbers with different signs, we subtract them. 
uh, we find the difference of their absolute value signs, okay? And then use the sign of the rational number that has the greater absolute value sign. Okay, we're going to use number lines here still, though. So during the day, the temperature increases by 4.5 degrees, okay? And at night, the temperature decreases by 7.5 degrees. What's the overall change in the temperature, okay? All right, so we're going to use positive numbers to represent increases in temperature and negative numbers to represent the decreases in temperature. So we're looking for 4.5 plus a negative 7.5 because it decreases. So start at 4.5 and then we're going to go in the opposite direction and go 7.5. So we're going to go to the left on this um, because the second add end is negative, okay? So let's see what these little tick marks are going by. They're going by ones right here, okay? So we're going to go 7.5. So here's one, two, I'm going in the halfway spots, three, four, five, six, 7.5, right there. It's going to end right there at negative three. Okay, so um, the result is negative three. Well, what's that mean? Okay, so that says that the temperature decreased by three degrees overall on that day. Okay, so Ernesto writes a check for $2.50. Then he deposits $6 into his checking account. What's the overall increase or decrease in the account balance? Okay, so we're going to use positive numbers to represent the deposits that he puts in and negative numbers to represent withdrawals or writing a check. So when he writes a check, that's a negative 250, and when he deposited that $6, that's going to be plus 6. So start at negative 2.5, and then go 6 units in the, to the right because it's positive, okay? So 6 units to the right, okay? So these are going by 1s. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that takes me to 3.5, okay? So um, what's that mean? Well, that means that the account balance will increase by $3.50, okay? Always try to answer the, especially on the word problems, in the context of the problems. Okay, negative 8 plus 5. Okay, so there's negative 8, and then go 5 units in the, to the right. So it takes me to negative 3. Okay, one half, start at a half. Okay, let's look at this one right here. So these ones are going by one fourth because there's four equal spaces. So I'm going to start here and then go three of the tick marks to the left. So uh, one, two, three. There's three fourths right there. So that's going to take me to negative one fourth when I do that. Okay, all right. So this one's going to start at, at negative one. Where's negative one? Right here and go seven that way. That's going to take me up to six right there. Okay. Easy enough. Okay, so finding the additive inverse. Okay, the opposite or additive inverse of a number is the same distance from zero on a number line as the original number, but on the other side of zero. So zero is its own additive inverse, like negative three and positive three, five and negative five, negative 11 and positive 11. Those are all additive inverses or opposites of each other. So here's a few examples that represents that. A football team loses 3.5 yards on their first play, so that would be a minus 3.5. On the next, on the number line, it's going to be to the left. On the next play, they gain 3.5 yards. What's their overall increase or decrease? And I know some of you guys are going, duh. Uh, anyway, so use positive numbers to represent gain and negative to represent loss in yards, okay? So we're going to start at negative 3.5, okay? And then go 3.5 units to the right. That's going to take me back to zero. So the result is zero, zero what? So zero yards and overall yards was the change. So they didn't change by any yards. So the sum of a number and its opposite, or the sum of a number and its additive inverse is always zero. Okay, so like P plus negative P or P plus opposite P is zero. Okay, so anyway, so so um, you, the first ones say, I know they're zeros, you guys. Those first ones are no-brainers. They're all zeros. But it says use a number line to find each sum. So let's pacify our groovy teachers, you guys. Okay, so we're going to start uh, here. We're going to start at positive 2.5. So here's 2, here's 3, so 2.5 goes right here. Then we're going to add negative 2.5. It's going to take us back to 0, okay? There it is. It's 0. Same with this one. Start at negative 4.5, add 4.5, 0. Kendrick adds three fourths of a cup of a cup of chicken stock in her pot, uh, or then in his pot. Sorry, uh, Kendrick. Sorry, I was thinking Kendra. Sorry. Uh, then he takes the three fourths cup of stock out of the pot. What's the overall increase or decrease? Well, there's zero right there. The overall change in the cups is zero right there. All right, you guys. 
Hope that makes sense and take care.